Okay guys, today we're going to crony test really narrow forks against really wide forks. Uh, the reason being, uh, shooting one of these pickle forks the other day and uh, to find out that actually every shot I was getting about an extra 20 feet per second than off a normal catapult, uh, couldn't quite work it out. We think the problem is when you draw back with this, the fastest way for the bands to retract would be back to the start point, which both bands are going practically in a very straight line. We think this could be the case, but uh, the crony test will tell us in a minute. Whereas, when you pull a wider fork back, uh, I've exaggerated the fork now just to get the point across, uh, something I knocked off. <laughs> when you pull this one back, the fastest point for these bands to retract would be back to the fork, and obviously I can't do that, they'll be pulling against each other as such. So, we'll keep that in mind when we do the test. Uh, both come with the exact same taper, 22mm to 18mm. Both have 8 centimeter active band length from the tip of the fork to the pouch. Let's show you with this one now. Uh, exactly the same pouch, same band set up. Uh, I'm going to be shooting the same ammo, uh, both of my maximum um, pull. Uh, with this one, if you're shooting this, let's say for example 34 inch draw, that is all you get from the tip of the fork to the pouch, 34 inch draw. Just like to point out on this one, if you're shooting this one at a 34 inch draw, you actually probably get about 36, 37 inch draw because of the way the bands are. 34 inch draw now would be from my hand to the pouch. Because the bands run out, you actually that much out, which would probably add up to two or three inches. So draw into 34 inch draw from your hand to the pouch, you probably get 36, 37 inches from using a wider fork, if you understand what I mean. So uh, anyway, I'm gonna crony test the two now. Take three shots of each with 9mm steel. See if there's a difference between narrow forks and wide forks. Uh, I haven't tested it myself, so I'm really interested to know. So, we'll get it done now. Okay, guys, uh, both catapults, same elastic, same band, same uh, band length. Uh, pot of 9.5mm steel. Let's get shooting. shots with a big one. Uh, what I have just found out is so I've got to use a glove. Even though I'm using the same ammo, the same bands and the same pouch, I'm getting a nasty hand slap every time from the wide fork. Uh, I ain't got a clue why because I'm using the same ammo, bands, pouch and everything. That's another one to talk about. Wide forks might be the cause of hand slap. Who knows? Anyway, three shots, nine mil still. Maximum drop. Two hundred and twenty nine point four. I actually still felt the hand slap through the air glove then. <laughs> Are wide forks due to hand slaps? We'll find out. Error. Two hundred and thirty. One more, then we'll move to the other one. Two hundred and thirty-one. That was with a quick, uh, quick release, at maximum draw, uh, the maximum pull. So you're not getting much faster than that with um, with a wide fork. So we do with a pickle fork. Again, same 9.5 mm ammo, same bands. Didn't register. <laughs> okay, there's definitely a difference there, guys, clearly. 258. So, 
Oh, well, well did the other two shots, but I think that clearly proves that, proves that um, the narrower the fork, the faster the shot. No arguments, really. <laughs> 258.6, it did register, I think it was just the same shot. I'll try one more now. Two hundred and sixty four. Well, that concludes the narrower the fork, the faster the shot. For some reason and slaps from the wide fork, I don't know why. Work that out for yourself. <laughs> Cheers.